While millions of Americans across the country will be enjoying the view and taking in the solar eclipse on April 8th, scientists across the country will be collecting data. NASA is also studying how the Earth's atmosphere responds to this decrease in sunlight and how the um, electrified part of the atmosphere, the ionosphere, has that response to this decrease in sunlight. That's Dr. Nicolene Vial, a scientist for NASA's mission PUNCH. PUNCH is the polarimeter to unify the corona and heliosphere. The heliosphere is the sun's area of influence. The corona is the sun's outermost part of its atmosphere. The corona is that part of the outer atmosphere of the sun that we get to see during totality, but Eclipses are pretty rare, and so NASA wants to study the corona all the time, and so we make artificial eclipses. And so PUNCH is going to be one of the latest, greatest, high resolution, um, sort of looking at the corona in high definition all the time, making these artificial eclipses. But they won't have to make an artificial eclipse on Monday. And the eclipse is something we all can enjoy, even if the first coast isn't under totality. Air will get colder. You will feel the fact that it's getting colder because the moon is blocking a lot of the sunlight. I think in Jacksonville, you guys are at 60% um, coverage. Um, and it will get darker, even though it's not as dark as a total solar eclipse, it will still get darker. You'll feel it. You'll see the shadows change. It'll still be pretty cool. The moon will be taking a bite out of the sun and we're all ready to experience it. I'm meteorologist Lee Southwick, First Coast News on your side.